Hello everyone, Jorge Huertas once again with all of you. Today I'm gonna show you what is and how to use the tool Shadowing. This video is also available in Spanish. Well, this is an empathy tool and a defining tool as well. It got the following characteristics. Define the context related to our project or business idea. The members of the team will choose which aspects will be work on define the context of our challenge. We can work with trends, political factor, economic factors, technological factors, social factor, or uncertainties. We will use a large format papers and each of them will be assigned one of the aspects to work on. As a group team, members will write on notes a sticker with the characteristics related to each of the aspects, placing them of the corresponding paper in the related uncertainties. We will put those doubts that we have uh, that we need to, to solve. This technique serves to share the knowledge of the team about the context of the challenge we face. If we use it in the face of empathy, we must compare the information with the investigation, primary and secondary, to ensure that we are defining a real situation. So when we talk about shadowing, we are talking about understanding everything that is related to a possible business idea, to a possible product, to a possible service. So we need to really understand each one of the aspects. And of course, if we want to follow and if we want to understand the context of the user. So that is very, very, very important. Before I start explaining this tool, if you like our content if you like our channel please subscribe it help us a lot give us a like turn on the bell because it really really help us when we are creating something it help us to keep doing this so the first thing when you're working shadowing it got that name because you literally are following someone and understanding what's going on and what's happening so the first thing is if you want to follow someone, you have to have the consent. I mean, you need to agree on terms with the person. The user must know what's going on and a company must be agreed. I mean, you cannot start following someone without the consent because that is stalking and that is illegal. So if you want to follow someone, you need to talk to them and get the consent first. That is extremely important. Then you need to explain, you need to define what is the way, how it's going to be work, how is the monitoring you are going to follow him for a day, for a couple of hours, for a month, what do you want to evaluate? And it's very important that the user know everything. You cannot lie to them. You have to be really straightforward and make them understand what's going on. So shadowing is because you're literally following that person. It's very important to know the tools that you are going to use to collect the information. You can take videos, you can take pictures, you can make, take notes, you can make drawings, because the idea here is that you got as much possible accurate information. If you have really accurate information, it will help you a lot in the future. You need to record that information. And of course the tool that you choose to that is extremely important because it's very possible that you forget or you are not very sure of what's going on and what's happening. So the monitoring process is very important and know how to follow them and get as much information, of course, to do that. You need to update the information, the result of the information, and of course, you need to reward the participation of the people. Even though that could be a family a member, or it could be your partner, or it could be someone really close to you, this process is not easy, and you are really uh, getting really intimate with, with the person and the activities that they got, so you should really reward their participation. After you recollect all of the information and you start analyzing, you need to take decisions. The decisions are extremely important because it will allow you to have a better understanding of the context in general 
of what's going on, of what what's the experience, what is happening around that. It's very important that everyone understand what, what is happening and how it's working so you can take decisions, you can understand the environment better, you can understand everything that is updating. And of course, you need to know what are you evaluating, what you want to know. So it's very important that. As a conclusion, we can say that at the end of this analysis, you must be able to make decisions regarding the project and the phase that your user is. The more information and better, you have, will have better resources to take decisions because if the information is very weak, perhaps you can make a huge mistake. So the best thing that you can do here is to have a lot of information and try to take the better decision based on that information that you have collected. Thank you so much. I hope this video was a big help in your education. Please subscribe to our channel. Follow us on social media. Remember that our Udemy courses are already available. In the description of this video, you can find the link. Remember that every Monday we have a new video in Spanish and every Thursday we have a new video in English. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.